Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So as you know that option entry is going to start today. So this video is about complete option entry process demo step by step which I am going to showcase here. So first step is you have to log into the option entry portal. So this is the link keonline.karnataka.gov.in slash UG combined option entry underscore 23 main index and dot php. So you have to first log in into this page. Once you go there, it will open to this page right so you can see here centralized allotment process option entry stream and then it says that all of engineering medical dental and the professional courses people need to put their CET number and then also they have to enter the captcha so once you submit you will be getting this particular screen which will show many options like, like candidate option entry option entry uh, you know worksheet detail option uh, uh, entry worksheet and all right and there also you see option entry example so similar to example which i am giving you here you will get an example there so that uh, it will be helpful for you right so this is the what you have to create and what you get is on the right side which is the allotment and then the admission tab so the first step one right where you, you see in this you have to go to the home page and there you will get the candidates option entry and that i have already shown and within that candidates option entry you see you will see college wise and course wise list so two important thing is there right first you have to see college list right then only you can select the college which i mentioned in the column one and then the course list which i mentioned in the column two when i was giving eight option entries example right so also note that you know when you select college there will be different type of colleges will be available because you know kct is not in only for engineering but kct also covers you know options for farm sciences for b pharma for pharma d for architecture for other courses as well and you can select from mix of both right so there will be students who can will select engineering and pharma both option entries so that you have to understand so this is what similar to you know which i said you know you have option from medical colleges engineering colleges ismh agriculture college veterinary colleges food sciences college pharma colleges pharma later entry or it's called pharma d and you see all those options are displayed on the top so if you see in the top bar it's saying written medical dental ismbh engineering architecture food sciences agriculture bsc veterinary science and the other one right so you have to select engineering if you want to go and enter the engineering courses and the options list right now remember the choices priorities which we have set what we set first option is uvce computer science you remember so now when you select engineering on the top and then you see the college name is university vishwasharaya college of engineering kr circle bangalore and within that there are eight options like e001 ae ar and all but since we said we want to do first option entry as uvce cs so you have to just go to the row number four and put one in front of that that it will say that uvce cs has become the entry number one and second we said is a sks jti kr circle college ece branch right so two put two in front of it next we selected few you uh, know private uh, college right so you the course you selected is private aided and you selected the college bms college of engineering so you put three in front of the required course so we said bms college of engineering we will not get computer science and all other branches but we have put in front of in the industrial management im course so e003 im you put three so when you're putting you know uh, this course options right so like you know selecting course against uh, college then you have to you know uh, so you can select many options but you have to keep on doing a save so that you don't uh, lose on the option entry right and and then you continue with your option entry then you put option entry 4 or the list priority 4 which you have set then now you move to the course which is a private unaided right and there you said you will again go back to uh, architecture courses now so what you have to do on the top is is a step you can see there is an architecture college list you click on that then only your architecture colleges will be visible and we said from five six seven eight we will enter the architecture option so you, if you see uh, when you click on architecture on the top you dis it displayed uvce architecture course and then in front of that you have put five 
then it you went to you know mallard college uh, sorry uh, you went to pda college of engineering you have put six in front of that as we said then you went to mallard college of engineering in the architecture course ar it is 025 ar you put seven and similarly last option was rvc architecture so you went into front of that and you have paid put eight in front of rvc architecture so that way you have created from mix of colleges from engineering and architecture which you saw on the top of the screen so same combinations you can use for another other set of you know programs which are there ex, uh, apart from engineering keep selecting on the tabs and keep putting the numbers as many option entries you want right and then you can go to government engineering colleges also like you know where which is government engineering college hassan government engineering college chikmangalur government engineering college chamrajnagar and rest of the whole list is available there and you have to save them so that's a very important that you have to click save button and you should note that option just before the last date or time whatever you save becomes the final so if you have but before that you have a complete flexibility to edit this list two three times or many times till the time last day so server will record the last entry what you have saved saved uh, you know um, just before the you know date of you know last date of submission of the option entries and this will be applicable for both the mock rounds as well as all the subsequent rounds which are around one round two round three modify the option entries so i will explain now how to modify the option entries so in simple terms you see here step one go to modify or go to modify selected option window there you will see that you have to you can change the number and type and i will show with the example how you can change the number and type and then step three you know go, uh, click the update button so once you change you have to click the update button and then you have the selected view option and then you will see the new set of option entries after modification and then only you have to submit uh, those for the you know uh, as a final entry for round one right and as and i told you uh, you know that once what you have submitted in the round one will become your final on entry for round two round three right then you cannot change but just after the mock entry you can change because that is the purpose of more doing a mock entry is that you can modify the options right so this is how the modification will happen right so if you see on the top for example the table one what we did earlier right similar to uh, eight option right you selected six option option one two three four five six and then you realize that that type set of is not correct you add some more colleges as well as modify so to modify you can change the priority right so you see e001 cs was you know first priority in the mock round and that was uvc computer science in front of that on the left side table x you have one but you decide now you want to move out and uh, that is uh, not uh, the correct thinking you want to take bms college of engineering uh, im course as your first entry so in the right side called table y you go and in front of e003 im put one so that your im uh, are you know bms are uh, im course becomes one similarly you can modify all your option entries from the list what you have uh, created in the mock round also you can add new options since it is only mock round up to mock round to first round addition is allowed right because you have not even allotted anything and because that allot allot allotment of round one has yet to happen now the next step is you want to delete the option similar to what you have done for modifying you have to delete the option again you have to go to the steps which says delete options then select the open select and open the window and then whatever option you want to delete in front of that option you have to put zero so zero means delete you don't you are not giving it any priority number so that is the way how you delete the options you have to add zero in front of all the uh, options which you are you know uh, you know wanted to delete right and then and then uh, la the last step is you can print option report right so whatever you have modified whatever you have added and whatever you have deleted in the mock round is after the mock round result and that will be available now for the first round option entry right but you can take that your print out option report and you see it may be possible that from eight which was in the mock round entry you have now 12 offers without eight you continued with the reordering but four you added new so i have explained you complete option entry procedure 
how to modify add option how to modify option how to delete option and how to take a print out of the options right so that is this video all about and thank you for watching and and uh, please do like and subscribe this channel to get similar updates and